Yo, what's good, everybody? It's 1 a.m. I just got my 1 a.m. alarm and uh, about to go hit this London session. So I'm heading over to the desk right now and uh, about to send a tray set up out. I figured I'd take you guys with me and uh, we're going to get it in. Who's ready for London, baby? You know what I'm saying? Wipe the sleep out your eyes. Let's go. What's going on, everybody? It's Joe Gentle with Trend Trading Academy. I'm here to help you trade and get paid. And guys, in today's video, or tonight's video, or this morning's video, or however you want to dice it up, is London. I'm about to send my trade setup out. I'm about to do a little bit of trading right now. And I wanted to take you with me on that journey, kind of show you what it is, you know, to kind of how I'm setting up my trade setups, all right? So um, if, you, if this brings you value, go ahead and hit that like button. Comment, subscribe, click that bell, get notified every time I drop content. If you like this content, share it and let me know what you think about it. Drop a little emoji, uh, comment below and just let me know what you think about this content. Uh, I want to bring the most value I can and kind of help you guys out as much as I can, all right? If you want to become a student, you want to be able to be in on what, what I'm doing right now and kind of get these trade setups that I'm sending out, just join our academy. The link's in the description, trendtrading.academy. Go ahead and become a student. Let's eat together, man. Everybody else is. Why not? Why not you? All right. So, um, you know, it's London. I'm about to send my trade set up out. And uh, I want to kind of take you with me on that little journey. As you can see over here, we got the, uh, you know, I got the community up live right over here. We're talking to everybody in here. And... You know, of course, I got my YouTube up over here, just kind of trying to figure out what I got going on. And then right here on my main screen, I got my charts. And so, um, you know, that's what we're going to be uh, taking a look at. But uh, the people in the community, they're already, you know, they're already, you know, commenting and asking what's going on. Let's get it. You know, we're ready to, we ready to trade. You know, we're ready to get it in. So, um I want to take you through the process. Like, what is my process of sending out a trade setup? What is my process of creating a trade setup? When I want to take a trade, what is what does that look like for me? You know, so I want to take you to the charts and let's just jump into it. All right, so we're on the charts. I'm looking at GBP AUD because you know that's what I do, right? Um, and so it, it's looking real nice right now. We're kind of in an odd position because, um, and, and I'm going to show you why. Look, when you look at, we're looking at the four hour chart and um, when you kind of zoom out a little bit, you see here how, you know, we're kind of moving down right here. But when you look at the bigger picture, I mean, this thing has been moving sideways for quite a while. And if you look at uh, my last video um, where I talked about that um, wave setup, you know, you can see here how we had, you know, one, two, three, four. And then now we're looking for wave five essentially to come, right? So, you know, we, we just look at this right here, you know, one, two, three, four, and we're waiting for that five wave. Um, and so I'm kind of anticipating that to come, you know, pretty much at any time. Um, but at the same time, we also know that, you know, no pattern is safe. You know, we could essentially come down. And so we don't want to trade with bias. So when I when I'm when I'm trading for tonight, I'm looking for a trade setup. I'm really not looking for the wave five on the four hour chart because I'm really not looking to be up here all night or even into next week. You know what I'm saying? Trying to hold on to a trade right now. So I'm looking for a scalp. I'm looking to get in and out of the market real quick, and and that's going to be that. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this right here, and I'm going to show you. You know, essentially what we've got is, uh, you know, that markup right here. And then we have this uh, markup right here. 
you know? And so we, we still are in the same position we were when I dropped that video last week. We've pulled down a little bit, but we're still looking at that, um, you know, Elliott wave. So um, now that we know that, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just zoom back in a little bit, kind of get a better look at what's currently happening. Because once you zoom out, right, once you kind of zoom out and get the big picture and trap your price down into a smaller area, now, um, you know, you really want to see what's like more recent. And <clears throat> so previous low to previous high, we're going to drop a fib on that. Okay. When we drop the fib on it like that, we're going to come up here. We drop the fib on it. We position our trend line correctly. And, um, you know, we drop it right there. We can see our golden zone. So that's the next thing we're going to do is we're going to just drop a simple golden zone right here. And now we know where that's at. So now what have we done? We've taken price and we've kind of put it into a smaller area. Um, you know, I, 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 lo I love what it's doing, but here's what's cool about it. We have the top line, we have the bottom line, we have the golden zone, but we also have the VDI cloud. And if you don't have that yet, um, you know, you got to jump on and get it. It has been only available to TTA members, but now you can go and get it at ttaindicators.com and go ahead and buy the indicator. Um, so go ahead and grab that, get that VDI cloud, because as you can see, that's also helping us sandwich that, right? So imagine looking at that, right? And now you have another box right there because you see where the cloud is, right? That's super fire. So now we've really got price kind of captured down in a real small area. Um, so what I want to do is on this four hour chart, I think I want to just sandwich price down a little further and kind of come and see you know, one, two, go on through. And I want to bring that all the way down to my golden zone, right? Real tight. And we kind of spread that out and let you see it a little bit better. So now, you know, we have this, let me kind of make that a little tighter right there. We have one, two, go on through. And so now we've kind of got price, um, you know, really the candles are captured into a very small area. Um, so we're looking really solid so far and, uh, and, and, you know, we're looking good. You see the structure guides are being printed from the VDI. And so now I'm going to take it down to the 30 minute. That's kind of where I really be, you know, um, looking at stuff, but you know, just for your sake, I'm going to take it down to the one hour, you know, just for confirmation's sake, kind of really make it tight. Uh, oh, sorry. You got the, the drawing right there. Um, so just for your sake, I want to make it a little tight right here. You can still see everything we saw in the four hour and looks real nice. Maybe you could probably tighten that up a little bit better on that line and a little bit cleaner on that candle right there. So that's what we do on the one hour is we just kind of really tighten it up, really make sure we have our, our zones perfected. And now we're going to go down to the 30 minute. And when we look at the 30 minute, um, you know, we want to get a real nice view of what's, of what's going on around it. So that's the first thing. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drop, uh, just drop a little line right there, just like that. And I just want to kind of, just to keep aware of it and not to, not to, you know, forget about that. Right. Um, so that's really good. So here, here's what we're kind of looking at right now. If we can get a break to the upside, we kind of make that a little bit bigger so you can see it. All right? If we can get a move to the upside, this is what we're really kind of looking at. at from here, right here, you know, we're at 70 pips, something like that, up to the upside. Um, but we want a nice clean break. So um, we're really, this is kind of the area we're looking at where the cloud is at. Um, so essentially what I would think is right about here, that's where we should be looking at, um, potential, uh, retests, right? So why is that an area, right? Even though we have structure all up in here, well, because here's what we really want, right? We want price to go break that and then retest that. So once it kind of confirms that it moved past that and then retests here, now we have entry, you know? So that's really what we're looking at to the upside there. 
And uh, so um, yeah, I'm going to set that up real quick. And uh, man, I think I think this is going to be real nice. I think this is going to be real nice. We don't have a, a ton of news. Let me look at that real quick. You know, we don't really have a ton of news. I mean, we have some, you know, some small stuff. But we don't have a ton of stuff that's going to be, um, you know, really mess us up just tonight. Um, do got some uh, GDP stuff. Um, but I think we're looking pretty solid for tonight. And, uh, you know, that happens at 2 o'clock. Uh, so we'll see that in about 50 minutes. About, you know, about 40 minutes, we'll see that. Um, so yeah, we're looking really good. The other thing too, it's really cool is that w when we see the cloud, it kind of came back together and pinched right here. Then it did that it pinched again. Now I think that what, what we're really looking at is that kind of little fake, not fake out, but you understand what I mean? That like that little retracement there, that little kind of, uh, inversion that happens already happened. Not that it can't happen again, but I think that you know, movement is ready. You know, I think we're ready to get a little bit of movement here. And uh, now here's what's cool. Look at this from the bigger picture. Remember, we were looking at all that sideways movement, right? So really, this is pretty interesting because, you know, you got move, you know, and if we can get a test of that golden zone, you know, essentially, guys, we're looking super good for, man, doesn't that look perfect? Doesn't that look perfect? So, I mean, I think we're really looking solid. Um, when you look at that little line I gave you earlier, uh, watch this, watch this. Let me get rid of this little line on the chart. Um, take it back over here and uh, bring back that uh, little line that I showed you. If we can get a line right here, right on that cloud, right at that, right at that structure level. Now, here's what's interesting: is pro it's possible that it's going to reject in this area, you know, and and kind of pull back to kind of test in here before pushing back up. Um, so that's a that's a good possibility. But here's what's cool about that is. Now let's let's look and see what that looks like when we go back to where we just were. Right? When we come back here. So when we kind of look at it from here, you know, you have that up move down up down if we do get that, you know, down to here and now look and see what happens, right? So when you see that move here, really this is an interesting area because of that confluence. So what what could possibly happen here is what it pulls the back right and then we get a little bit of that weird movement right that little sideways movement that we've been seeing a lot of right and then really it's here that we're kind of looking for that breakout i mean not not that we can't get a, a trade here or here but here's where we're looking for that big move um because then it kind of completes that pattern really nicely so um, I think we're getting there guys. I think we're looking really good. So let's kind of just zoom in one more time And I'm about to get this trade set up sent out that see that candles put that candles pushing real nice. Look at that Look at that that candles pumping right now. Look at that. We're seeing it live on camera right now You see that guys? We're, we're seeing it live on camera Right here right now. We're seeing it live as it's pushing past that cloud, it's telling us a lot right now. 120, um, 123 a.m. Eastern, and uh, we haven't hit London yet. We're just setting up for London, and um, this is what we're looking at right now. So now look what's, what's happening. It's just kind of stopping right there for now. We don't know it could push, but this is an interesting spot right here. So right here is where we're going to see what's going to happen, and that's going to determine how I send this trade set up out. So, so guys, so check this out, man. Um, we see a lot of cool stuff happening right there. I gave you that pinpoint mark. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this trade setup out to the TTA members. Um, you kind of see my process, right, of kind of going through how I'm setting up that trade setup. And um, that's really, you know, from the four-hour 
to the one hour to the 30 minute. And then if it's a retest entry, I'll come back to the 15 minute. And that's really where I'm going to kind of get um, the entry, the actual entry right there. All right, guys, there you have it. That's how I set my tray set up for London. I sent it out to the students. We're about to eat. Candles already been pushing. We're eating on this thing. So, um, guys, I hope you understand, you know, the, the, the breakdown, right? So now I want you to go into TTA and go, you know, go eat off of that tray set up. All right, guys. Well, here's a little bit of bonus footage. Wanted to just drop this here for you. I hope you're watching this video all the way to the end because, guys, I told you, you know, in this video that once this trend line broke, we would see it take off. Man, we, not, we haven't even hit London yet. It's the next night, you know, from when I recorded the first part of the video. Uh, it's 1130 and the market is pumping. You know, since we had the breakout here, let me look at that, guys. We're 80 pips, you know, uh, looking re really good. That's the power of technical analysis. That's that's the power of understanding the market and not trading with bias. And um, we ate real good off of this trade set up last night. Back in here, we ate real good off of it. And then now we're, I mean, we're just absolutely eating off of this right now. So um, that's the power of technical analysis. And look right here. Look where it's starting to kind of die out a little bit, right? Right at structure. This is this is what we do. So <clears throat> just wanted to drop this little bonus content, show you right here the market is live and moving. You're seeing it. And this is what we do, guys. So let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. If, you, if this brought you value, if you want to see more videos like this where I'm showing you my breakdowns and stuff, Go ahead and uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments. Put a strong arm. Let me just kind of get some feedback. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I love those little strong arm emojis. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but if I'm going to be up at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Anyway, I might as well bring you along for the ride, right? So, if you want to become a student, go to trendtrading.academy. If you're not a student already, because a lot of people are watching my YouTube that are students. If you're not a student, Bro, don't miss out no more. Go to trendtrading.academy. Links in the description. Become a student and get all of this stuff we're talking about. The community, you know what I'm saying? The um, the trade setups, the resource library, the videos, the live classes. I mean, it's fire. So we're giving a lot of value for a reasonable price. Come and get a piece of that and let's make this money. I'll see you in the next video.